Hey guys, what's up? Toba Loco here, and today we are back with the 2010 FIFA World Cup Legendary Runs. Uh, we've got Austria today. I promised that we do Austria first before we do anybody else because Austria has been a constantly requested one. I've got a lot of Austrian subscribers, I guess, so let's do Austria today. Let's hope that it was better than the run we did yesterday with Latvia. That wasn't a very good run. You can check it out if you want, but it wasn't a brilliant run. So we're in a group in Group E with England, Bulgaria and Grenada. So we can't fall into the trap of saying that Grenada are an easy win because yesterday I did that and um, it backfired on me. Our first match is the big one against England. So Austria at World Cups. I've never really seen Austria recently at World Cups. I've only seen them at Euro. So Euro 2008, they obviously hosted the tournament. Um, didn't get out the group stage. And um, uh, Euro 2020, obviously, they did way better than they've done uh, previously. I think, wasn't it like Euro 2020, like it was the first time that he, in like so many years that he got to the round of 16 or something like that. So it seems like they're steadily improving. They've got like, well, the current Austria squad, they got some nice players there, like Alaba. Um, they got Analtovic as well, so that's the two most notable ones. We got Christian Fuchs, I know him, um, obviously from the title winning side, Leicester City. I feel like we could potentially lose against England here, because it's the first game and nobody's got any form. But, after that, we should be rolling against the other two teams. Like, there's no excuses really. I mean, look at this play right here, here comes Jantscher, is that how, how you say it? He's going for on goal. Through the legs and in. Nice one. Austria has scored the first goal of the group stage. And it is Hoffer with the goal. Nice little tap in to make it 1-0 against England. I nutmegged. I think it was like John Terry on that play. John Terry was coming in. And I just gave him a cheeky little nutmeg and just slide it in over the top. Oh, look at this. We are bossing England right now. We are absolutely crushing them. Oh, that was close. If we went 2-0 up, like, what a start that would have been. Oh, here we go. Yansha. Running down the wing. He could be a good player for us. Just got fouled there. I'm wondering, do I have David Alaba on or is it too early for him? I'll have to check the subs bench. But we're doing okay so far. Come on, get in front of it. Oh, Rooney. Really well done there. I mean, you can't stop those. And Rooney scores an absolute rocket into the bottom corner, the bottom left-hand corner, to make it 1-1. I had no chance on this. I was trying to get in front of it, and he just blasted it. Have England turned on the style now? It's Heskey, and he scored. I couldn't get in front of him, and it's 2-1 before half-time to England. I kind of knew this was going to happen. Like, the, the second chance that we missed has come back to bite me. And it absolutely has, because look at that. I mean, that defending by Austria was questionable, and it is half-time. And it's 2-1 to England. We could have had a 2-0 advantage. And that's the, the tables have turned on us. And um, it's 2-1. We have an out of it. And um, we have players that I have heard of before. Like Pogatets And um, Baumgard Lina as well. So maybe potential to put them on. But um, I'm going to put them on in the next game. Go on Hoffer. Use that strength. Use that pace. And yeah. Nice goal. Nice goal. He used that pace and strength. And Hoffer scores to put the Austrians back at 2-2. And wow, what a game we have right now. I mean, Hoffer just held off uh, Ferdinand and John Terry at the same time to slide underneath the keeper. We're looking at potentially a beast player. If he can hold off those two players with no form, what's he going like, to be like with form? I'm going to put on um, Anatovic. I'm going to do it. He's only rated one less than Yanko, and uh, I feel that the other guy with us um, has done better than Yanko. Um, Hoffer, I feel he, he's done a little bit better. Um, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to put on um, Baumgart Lingner as well, um, because I know that player. So hopefully it might change the tide. No, no, England have just been absolutely relentless. It's kind of annoying, but I'll take the 2-2 draw because I didn't lose. But it's just like England were constantly tackling me and making life hard for Austria. But that's a well-deserved point because we actually could have lost that game. Form is a little bit mixed. Like some people are out of form and some people are in form. 
So yeah, we'll see. The goalkeeper got injured. The tra the second goalkeeper. That's strange. He didn't even play. But okay, so we got Baumgartlinger on, and we'll put Anatovic on. We're against Grenada, by the way, for the next match. So I feel like um, that these players should really do well against Grenada. Second match against Grenada, and I don't really want to say it, but it should. It should be a win, but. We just got to be careful because I have played as Grenada in the past and uh, Grenada are good. They're a good, strong little team and uh, we got to be careful that they don't use that strength against us. They did lose their first game. And Altovic, here we go. Can you use that strength? Yes, he can. Look at him. He's just pushing past everybody. He's a bit of a beast, isn't he? I mean, we all know he is. That was a decent... Oh, okay, well, it was a little bit too out. And Altovic... Anatovic. Oh, yeah, his shot is far too powerful for the keeper. And it's 1 0. Anatovic scores. He's basically got a, a base player model on this game. <laughs> but I guess because he was like younger back then, obviously. And he makes it 1 0. I mean, that shot was far too harsh for the keeper, I guess, for him to actually save it. See what I mean about Grenada? Like, they can't really be chucked off the ball that easily. It's just been, like, really, really awkward at the moment. Like, Grenada have had lots of possession, but they haven't really done anything with it, and they almost score. Okay, well, I almost ate my own word. Well, half-time is 1-0. Um, I feel like it could have been more, but I haven't really had the proper shots I've had. But at least we're winning, and that's the most important thing. Do I want to change my players? Like, seriously, how many times do I have to try? And, oh my goodness... Grenada almost got an equaliser against me. If it wasn't for the heroics of the keeper, we would have been back to 1-1. One, one. Come on, Hoffer. And out of it, you should be running with me. You should. You need to get in that position where we can just do a sweat. Yeah, there we go. Thank you. And that's the second goal for Anatovic. And it's 2-0 against Grenada. Nice. We got it in the bag, I reckon. Like, they've had chances, and if it was still 1-0, I still would be kind of, like, scared a little bit that they were going to score. It was a little bit of a sweat, but, you know, we have to take it, you know, where we get it. You know, beggars can't be choosers. Go on, Anatovic. Get that hat-trick. He has! Anatovic with a hat-trick against Grenada. And now Austria are firing on all cylinders now. It's 3-0. And unlucky to Grenada because they did actually fight hard to try and get that last um, equaliser. But it's out of their reach now. Now right, here we go, Hoffer. He's out of stamina, but can he just push his way past here? He has. Hoffer, it's gone in again. The shot is too powerful for the keeper and it's 4-0. And Austria are just flying at the moment. I mean, it is against the one-star team. And there we go. Austria win their second match of the group stage, as expected, to be fair. And it was good because they, we had some substitutes on as well. A couple of replacement players, just to see how good they were. And out of which, of course, we all know how decent he is in front of goal. And he showed it here today. Unlucky to Grenada. They go home with nothing. We just look at the table then. So um, me and England have basically got exactly the same stats. Exactly the same. England have got to play Grenada. So that's definitely a win for Grenada. Um, England. Sorry, I almost said Grenada. I mean, it could be. You never know. Um, but we got to play Bulgaria. And if we lose against Bulgaria and obviously England win, then that means England and Bulgaria will go through and Austria will crash out. So we can't let that happen. We need to be good against Bulgaria and I feel like we are pretty decent. Final match of the group stage and a very important one against Bulgaria. We need to win or draw. Drawing is acceptable in this situation but I'd like to win, get that form up and now Avic is running through. You can see the big man just running. I mean look how tall he is compared to other players. Oh he almost scored then. Squandered opportunity. We got another chance. Oh, good, good save by the keeper. Got another chance maybe to cross it in. Natovic. Oh, just scuffed it. England have gone 1 0 up against Grenada. Come on, Natovic. You need to start scoring. And here we go. Oh, my days. I should have passed it up. I saw a player up there and I was like, I should have done it. I absolutely should have. Here we go. Hoffer. Can he get the goal for us? He has got the goal. Nice. The 1 0 up against Bulgaria. Hoffer with the goal in the 23rd minute. Took us a long time, a couple of shots, 
but we take the initiative. Crossed in. Oh, that was great defending because that could have easily been a goal. I see him out of it. Look how fast this guy is and look how, like, like good... Def oh, my God. I just, I just can't believe he's missed so many chances, though. This is going to be a very competitive match, I feel. Like, it's going to have lots of moments in it. England are 3-0 up against Grenada, and that's offside, thankfully. Half-time then, and um, perhaps we should have been uh, maybe two or three goals up. We had a lot of chances with uh, Anatovic and Hoffer, but we just couldn't put them away. I'm lucky to be 1-0 up, to be fair. Anatovic, go on. Oh, he skips past that challenge. Please, Anatovic, can you just finish this one? Yes, he finally does, and it's 2-0. Austria... Getting into gear. I love it. I love this combination that we got with Anatovic and Hoffer. I know I've got Janko and I know he's a star player, but I just feel Anatovic is better. These three strikers, having three strikers on the pitch, maybe I can alter the formation so we can have three of them up front. Oh, here we go. Look at Anatovic here. He's just getting in behind constantly and we're about to, well, miss the shot again. 5-0 now to England. Over the top. Can we do over the top again? No, we just get the ball. Here comes Yadsha. It's all happening in this game. Crossed in. Go for it. Oh, good defending. Right, what I'm going to do now, because it's the 65th minute, I'm going to put on Yanko, um, because Hoffa's got a yellow to his name. Can't really have him getting sent off. I feel like the midfield just need to get in form. That's all we need. A uh, Berbatov. Oh, that was just so close on the Bulgarian. It's been an exciting match so far, to be honest. Like, it's been really, really good from both teams. Here comes Yanko. Oh, he slipped past them. We've got two big men going through here. here comes Yanko. Is he going to square it to Anatovic? He is. Unselfish play there. And it's 3-0. Brilliant from Yanko. Good finish from Anatovic. Both players. I'm going to try and edit this formation so we can have Yanko, Anatovic and Hoffer up front. I feel like they could be deadly. Anatovic. Look at him. Young Anatovic is like beast. He actually is. Crossed in. Header. Oh yes! There's such good play from Austria. Such good play. And Yancha, the winger, scores to make it 4-0. Austria. Look at this play. I mean, I didn't think the cross would actually go to him, and I just got it. It looked like Bulgaria actually flicked it into their own net, but I think it kind of glitched. I think I went through the player, and he's going to go for the shot. That was so unlucky from Anatovic. Yanko. Oh, good save again from the keeper. Well, that was very, very impressive. Very, very impressive from Austria. Anatovic and Yanko. Oh, yeah, Hoffer. Hoffer. Yanko and Anatovic up front. Impressive stuff. I need to find a way to get all of them into the same lineup so that we can have the most deadly attack in this World Cup. Because we're winning like 4 0 against um, Bulgaria, a team that's on the same level as us. So we have got Italy for our next game. A very big match, but drawing against England and thrashing Bulgaria like we just did and feeling confident. Not overconfident, but you know what I mean, pretty confident. So let's have a look at round of 16 results. Uh, we've got some good matches here. We've got France beating Australia 4-3. What a thriller that was. Portugal beating Albania 2-1. England beating Russia 4-2. Spain beating South Korea 4-1. Brazil beating Thailand 4-0, Argentina squeezing by Denmark 2-1, then we got Italy versus Austria and Germany versus Sweden. So I've edited the formation, so we got three at the back, four in midfield and then three up front. I think that might be better and um, I feel like taking off Jancha, even though he's been very good, I feel like taking off Jancha is probably the best situation for us, but we'll keep him high up in the rankings. There, so we got Yanko, Hoffer, and Anatovic. I'd rather have Hoffer on the wing, and um, actually no, I'd rather have uh, Anatovic in the middle, maybe. Actually no, let's keep it like that and see how it is. Here we go then, Italy versus Austria, the the big one. This is one that we could potentially be knocked out in because we all know how good Italy are. Okay, let's see what, how my new lineup will fare against Italy. We already see Anatovic. Cruising past this Italian defence. Go on. Oh my god, he scored immediately. Near post. And could this be the formation that Austria need to go through? In the second minute, Anatovic scores. 
and it's 1-0 to Austria, surprisingly. One through ball cut the Italians right through, and we scored near post just before we got tackled. This free at the back thing is going to hurt me, though, I reckon, against bigger teams. I think it's going to hurt me. Here comes Anatovic. Look at him. He's just like, I'm a beast. You ain't going to stop me. And he scores. It's 2-0 to Austria. And I think at this point, Anatovic has become a little bit of a cheat code. He's literally like, I don't know how old he was in 2010, or if he actually got onto the Austria squad back then, but he's an absolute unit. He absolutely is. I can't believe it. We're 2-0 up against Italy. And I think what that we can roll Italy here. No. Oh, that was a great save. I think the three at the back is going to be a struggle to, like, sort of manage. But, um, yeah, you know, 2-0 up against Italy in the first, like, sort of 24 minutes. We can't really complain too much about it. Oh, look at that pass. It's Yanko. He's got through. Yanko scores. This is amazing. This is absolutely amazing. These three strikers are working in tandem with each other to get Austria to the promised land of the World Cup final. Look at this. We're 3-0 up against Italy. I've never destroyed a team like this before. In the 30th minute, we're 3-0 up against Italy. Uh-oh, Italy pressing. Get in front of it. Yes, that's brilliant defending. No, that's not good, though. And they had a chance to get at least a goal back. Wow, we've absolutely blown Italy away in this first half. Usually, it's Italy the ones who blow me away in any World Cup run I do. But we've turned the tables on them. We've made them look so bad in this and I think it's because of my formation all you need to do is run through that's all you need to do it's Yanko and he's got him behind it's gonna be four it's definitely gonna be four once I slide underneath Buffon and this is just too easy way too easy a load of people are gonna be like well dude you're playing on amateur it's like I'm not playing on amateur I'm playing on legendary legendary four nil up against Italy I played this game far too much. I love runs like this where you can absolutely destroy a team. And is that going to be a penalty? Or is that a free kick? I think it's a free kick just about. I reckon Italy are going to score this. It's Perlo. Yep. Yep. 100%. I knew he was going to score that. I hope this doesn't inspire an Italy comeback. Italy still got it though. Get in front of him please. That was very, very lucky that we didn't concede that goal. That was a good tackle. Really, really good tackle. But Italy on the ball again. And that was a really good goal by Italy. That finesse shot by Perlo. He's been really good in this game. He's probably been the best player on Italy's pitch. I passed it out. It was a bit of a bad pass. And that finesse shot was beautiful. Um, so the score line really doesn't show the, the fact that I've actually dominated Italy in this one. I actually have at, had them in this game all over. Our strikers have been so good. But that was a... Very, very good win for Austria. I'm sure if you're Austrian, you would definitely appreciate the fact that I just blew Italy out of the water. Who are we against next then? Who is it? It's going to be Germany. Of course it's going to be Germany. Another big team that we have to try and um, eliminate in this competition. Is it more of a derby for Austria against Germany or is it more of a derby for Austria against Italy? Like, if you're Austrian, just like let me know. Oh, uh -oh, Germany pressing and another save from Austria. We haven't started out as well as we did against Italy. I feel like Germany are kind of pushing us back. Balak's going to go for it. No, okay. He just didn't do anything. Germany just basically just scored the easiest goal. And that's the problem with this whole setup. That's the only problem is the defence. The defence, there's two little players in the box to deal with an attack like that. It hasn't been brilliant from... Oh, my God. Another brilliant finesse shot. Two in two games. Podolski just made it look so easy. And we are in a big hole at the moment. We are in a massive hole. He just turned around and did what I love to do on this game. A brilliant finesse shot from Germany. And it looks like Austria's campaign is in massive danger unless the ball can be given to the strikers to try and... Get back into this run. Oh, terrible ball. What's happened to Austria? I don't understand it, right? You win big against a massive team like Italy, and then you just lose. Like, like an absolute shambles of a, of a performance, like, at the moment from Austria. We need to be better. We absolutely need to be better. That's a decent ball. Oh, that was our first real shot of the game. It just, unfortunately, it wasn't any of the main strikers. It was, like, a defender doing that. 
Can he find any of the strikers in the box? That's good, and that's a good goal. Very, very good play from Austria. We're back in it. We only need one more goal now. And Yanko scores the big man to make it 2-1. He'll pass into the middle, and hopefully someone will be there. No, of course not. Why didn't it go to the guy that was near it? That's so mind-boggling. And here comes closer. Oh, no, it's Ozil, sorry. And look at our defence. So exposed. And he scores, of course. Like, it was a joke. It was an absolute joke, that pass. And it left us so exposed. Oh, my God. Good pass. Goalkeeper, what are you doing? Get the ball. This is, like, how have we fallen off like this? I, I overlooked the one key element, and that's defence in midfield. For a smaller team, anyway, that's going in. That is definitely going in still. Yeah, yeah, defence has just been poor. It's just been so poor. And Gomez scores. They've just given us a thrashing. And out of it, here he is. Finesse shot. That wasn't bad, but there was a foul in that. Is that going to be nothing? Thanks for that ref. I'm so deflated after that match. Like, Germany really just hammered it home how bad we were defensively. Like, I don't understand it. We thrashed Italy, and then maybe Austria got too overconfident. Maybe I got too overconfident in that run. Maybe. I don't know. But how do we beat Italy? We get super good on form, and then we lose against Germany in that fashion. Well, uh, Portugal won 3-0 against Brazil in the final, and the third place playoff, uh, England beat Germany 2-1. But at least we got the top goal scorer, and now to bitch in that one. But, I mean, in that one, we really, it was just really strange how um, the game turned the tables on me in the Germany match. So I think we did pretty well, and to knock out Italy, 4-1 is even better. I'm sure you guys hopefully would have enjoyed that. But if you did enjoy this run, then give it a like and subscribe. Keep it local as always. And I'll see you again for the next video.